Hello everyone and welcome back to this bed we made. So I was looking at my recent upload of this game and uh, I realized a couple of things. So we have some clues that we can look at. Uh, okay, so here, cracking the safe. We have three things here. It's Lisa's address, infantry division and year of hospital discharge. Uh, do we have those documents here, maybe? If I'm lucky, the key to that suitcase will be around here somewhere. Let's see. Here's Lindsay's address. So 34. Um, 99. Here's the infantry division. And then... What was it? Year of hospital discharge. Where is it? Hospital discharge. Yeah, I don't think I've I found it yet. Could be here. Let's clean this up. Oh no, why? Shit. I wasn't supposed to clean anything in here. Oh man. Yeah, don't do it. Hospital discharge. Where are you? Oh. Okay. We can start by making the bed, I guess. Because this is still our job. So it would make sense. Yeah, no surprise Bernard denied the request. Mrs. Beaumont's been here so long, we could probably just put her name on the door at this point. Could that be a reminder for the safe combination? Exactly. But the hospital discharge thing... I can't find it. Can I turn this off? The storm must be getting oh, yeah. worse. I hope mom's not too bored without her TV shows. Hmm. Okay. Binoculars to... <gasps> it's the key! What do we have here? Yes! Pick it up. Let's pick it up. This one as well. Let's turn off the radio. Thank you. Uh, what was this? I don't remember. So let's go and open the, the suitcase. Hmm. Could this be the hospital discharge? You spent 10 years in a psychiatric hospital. And it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses and prescriptions. 
Date of discharge, 1957. Hmm. hmm. 57. 57. We have it. What's this? Let's close it and then lock it. No, I can't, and I guess I can't put the key back. <gasps> yes, I can. Cool. I don't think I'll need this again. But if we lock it, that's the question. No, we didn't. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Okay, so it was 57, right? So let's see. Um, yeah, fifty-seven. Thirty-four, ninety-nine, fifty-seven. We did it. Oh shit! He has a gun. These film rolls. Hmm. Okay, Sophie, you should probably put this down now. Yeah. M and H. M and H. Who are they? Are they guests here? That was taken in the lobby. Mm. That was taken in the lobby. Okay, he's following someone, it seems. at the hotel room not ready yet had to wait in the lobby yeah pause if you, if you want to read you're going through their trash you really want to find out what M and H are up to don't you hmm. okay he's definitely stalking them hmm Why are you following them? And who's sneaking out at night? So many questions. This looks like Beaver Lake. What's going on? Close this and shall we close this as well? What do we have here? Nothing. Nope. Yeah. Uh, so my question is if this because I'm still working, so um, should I do anything, anything else here? 
like clean wise. Um, what was this? I can throw things away, can I? This was some kind of a mirror. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna throw his things away. Uh, this one I can throw, away, I guess. But by doing so, he will know that I have actually seen all of this. But as I already threw away the trash, yeah, he will know either way. Let's do it. I hope you weren't eating those beans. Are we done? Yeah, I think we're done. Um, should we call our friend? Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hold on. Andrew. Andrew. Cover for me, will you? What's going on? Hey, Tintin. Just do it. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, I take it you open Morgan's safe? What was in it? Uh, I need your help again. I found his journal. Actually... I need your help again. Yes? I found out Mr. Morgan isn't only stalking me, but two other people as well. Oh, who are they? They're guests. I don't know their names, though. I, I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Well, Snoopy, although it may seem like it, I'm not actually clairvoyant, so I'll need something to narrow the search. Do you know anything about them? Mr. Morgan refers to them as H and M. Well, that could mean a lot of things. It could be their initials or, I don't know, husband and mistress. Oh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, I'll need a little more to go on. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I found out that Mr. Morgan made a request to be transferred to room 507. But it was denied because... That's Mrs. Beaumont's room. Exactly. Hmm. Why change rooms when his entire setup is in 505? I'm not sure. I, I just thought it might be related. Maybe, but... Hmm, would you look at that. There's a couple staying in room 509. Hector and Marcella Cruz. Hector and Marcella. Hmm. H and M. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Do you know anything about the cruises? Well, I saw them come in and out of the hotel a few times. Called a taxi for them once. The missus does the smiling and the other frowns a lot. Nothing to write home about. Do you have room 509 on your to-do list by any chance? I do, actually. Mm. Then maybe you go clean it and have a little look-see? Yeah, nothing unusual here. Just a maid cleaning a room. Exactly. That's my girl. I'll call you if I find anything. Just be careful, okay? I will. I oh, promise. Oh shit. This is getting really interesting. Oh yeah, she forgot her keys. I must have forgotten my keys in the break room again. I'll need my keys to enter room 509. I should probably check the break room. What's this? Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the break room. 
maybe I shouldn't wander around with my pockets full. Is there anything I can put down? This must have been so much fun. Well, for the guests at least. I haven't danced since Grandma's 70th. <laughs> she definitely upstaged me. Okay, let's leave the mugs. Maybe over here? I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. Where do I place... There. I guess we can go down now. Over here, yeah. Shoot, it's locked. I guess I'll have to get Linda's master key instead. Linda usually leaves a master key in the women's locker room. Okay. Um, maybe here. people whose names start with a B around here. Oh, Linda. What would your husband think of all this? Ah, <sighs> shit. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's remove it. Employee of the month, here I come. She will throw this away. Yeah, let's do it. That'll do. I'll just have to make sure I don't forget to return it. I hear someone crying though. I should be able to open 509 now. Back to the fifth floor. Wendy? It's Sophie. Are you alright? Do I sound alright? I... No. I guess not. Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk. Hmm. I, I don't mean to disturb you, but... Did you see who wrote that message on Linda's door? What? The lipstick message. Do you know who wrote it? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Please, Sophie, go. All right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's go to room 509. And I guess there's some drama going on in the hotel. Was this the right way? Locked. Eugene must be running around trying to keep the hotel in one piece. No. Hey, you. Oh, hey, Beth. On break already? Sadly, no. I have an express delivery to make to the sixth floor. Isn't that Jacques or Andrew's job? Well, they're both busy, so... What about you? I thought you'd be in 509. 
I'm heading up now. I just had to grab Linda's master key before I could continue our investigation. Oh, I see. Well, this has been quite the day so far, hasn't it? I can't remember the last time work was this interesting. Yeah, that's definitely one way to put it. That's not all, though. Mm. While I was looking for my keys, I found some graffiti on Linda's door. What kind of graffiti are we talking about? The words, hypocrite bitch in red lipstick. <laughs> I wonder who could have written it. If I had to bet, I'd put my money on Wendy. Linda's been treating her like her personal punching bag as of late. Hmm. Uh. I get Wendy's frustrations with Linda, but vandalizing her door? Isn't that a bit much? Sorry, but Linda's lucky to get away with just lipstick on her door. I would have done worse. I know she can be harsh, but it can't be easy dealing with Bernard. She must be under a lot of pressure. Maybe Wendy should have tried talking to her instead. For that to happen, Linda would first have to make herself seem like a rational, approachable person who can be talked to, and not a raging, unstable harpy. Hmm. You know, I don't know how you do it, Sophie. Maybe it's because my empathy only goes so far, but I admire that you're able to feel for just about anyone. Hmm. I feel more for some than others. I think it comes from my mom. As a nurse during the war, she had to care for all kinds of soldiers, even enemy ones sometimes. I don't know if I'm quite at her level yet though. Don't sell yourself short. You're a very compassionate person, Sophie. Thanks, Beth. Well, this was a lovely chat, but I better see if Eugene is around maintenance. Hopefully he can help me find this thing for our esteemed guest. Yeah. We both got a lot on our plates today. I can't wait to find out more about our friends H&M. Take care. You too. Um, what should we do? Yeah, let's go. I'm curious. Getting into 509 will be no problem with the master key. Let's get to the bottom of all this. Oh, I do have 506 next on my list. Should I pop in before checking out 509? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there's been a party oh, over boy. here. Someone's been living it up. Anything here? No. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Let's clean this What's shit up. What's the story behind this? Ugh. Let's, let's throw it away. Awesome. Oh. Sorry for the mess. Do we have anything more? Or are we done? Uh, I think we're done. Cool. Let's close the door. What's I'm not this? a fan of the gossiper. 
I never did finish that article from this morning. That feels like so long ago now. Yeah. Let's throw that away. Hmm. Pause to read. Let's throw this away. I like cleaning up. It's so satisfying. With this. are definitely going to be the month's employee. Not exactly a cherished gift. If you just left it behind like this. Hmm. Yeah. What's this? Holy Bible. Yeah, nothing here. Awesome. Oh, a balloon. Let's see, are we done? Shouldn't we vacuum? Yeah, I feel like we're done. Um, what's this? I don't know. Mm, I should wait till I have more to report before calling Beth. Yeah, I think we're done. 